Take Thanks, it away. Jeff. And I had like 10 cups of coffee. So, oh, um, wow. OK. <laughs> So uh, hi, everyone, again. We are so excited about the Geeks Give Back campaign. Table tents are on, the, on your desks. Um, we are the second year of this campaign, and Washington State Opportunity Scholarship is so happy to be the beneficiary. Uh, for those of you who were in the room yesterday um, know that our, we provide scholarships and supports to low- and middle-income students who are studying in STEM and healthcare in Washington State. The scholarships are up to $22,500. We also provide mentorship support, um, industry exploration events. So that's also a way that your companies can get involved in this effort as well. Um, we are so pleased to have GeekWire, of course, and Bank of America be our proud partner on this effort. And I have the pleasure of introducing Kim Vu, uh, who is a star and such a generous and thoughtful leader in the philanthropic area in our region. And I just wanted to ask Kim, why is Bank of America involved with this effort? Yeah, sure. Thanks so much, Naria. We are so excited to be part of this campaign. Thanks to GeekWire and also WSOS for being such a fantastic partner in this effort that we kicked off last year. We had this goal where we said, you know, can we raise $500,000 for students in the state of Washington who are studying STEM? And, you know, we were elated when not only did we meet the goal, but we succeeded the goal by over 40,000. So we actually ended up raising 540,000. With the help of many of you here in the room, your companies, your own individual donations that made that happen for so many students. At Bank of America, we're involved in this campaign because one of the three core areas that we invest in um, here locally is workforce development, specifically around um, programs that support youth through college and career. And so when this opportunity came up and our, you know, and we got the chance to meet with Naria and with Aaron and the team at WSOS, we said this is the perfect opportunity to invest in a community that is growing and we know that we need to make sure that we're we're building homegrown talent here in our region. Um, just to give you a little bit of insight, um, just a really quick story before Jordana comes up here, who's really the star of the show, um, is just to tell you a little bit about my story. My parents came to this country in 1975 as refugees of war. So they came here with no money, literally not a dollar. Most days when they you know, were working two to three low paying jobs to try to um, take care of me um, as a child, they had to decide whether or not they were gonna pay the mortgage or they were gonna put food on the table. Um, and it was really difficult and really challenging for them as immigrants. And so my dad, while working two to three of these low paying jobs, decided he was gonna also go to school and get his degree. He ended up getting a degree in business and computer science. That piece of paper that he got, that degree that he got, changed the trajectory of our family. It moved us from living in poverty to, move, to living uh, in middle to high-waged um, opportunities for my family. It gave us the opportunity to move out of poverty. And for many of these students that you are going to meet, like Jordana and so many of the WSOS students, their family stories are very similar to mine. Um, so I relate to them personally on that level because that degree, that piece of paper, isn't going to impact just their lives. It'll impact the lives of their families that they're also supporting and helping um, move through, through their futures as well. So again, thanks so much for being here. Thanks for supporting this campaign. I really hope to see, I've, we've seen many of you at our booth, but we hope to see many and more of you at the booth later this afternoon to make a contribution and an investment towards Geeks Give Back and WSOS. Great, thanks. thank you. And really quickly, I did mention yesterday, and Gary Rubens from the Rubens Family Foundation made the awesome announcement of a $1 million goal, of which he is going to match dollar for dollar the first $250,000, which will then be matched by the state and obviously uh, matched by you all as well with the uh, uh, initial 250. And so far to date, we have all these amazing companies who have given at the $1,000 level and way higher. So we would love to see your companies represented on a list like this. We'd love to see all of the individuals in this room give as well. And really, I think um, you're gonna agree with me that this isn't necessarily ge geeks giving back, but geeks paying it forward. When you see the investment in the students like Jordana, who's going to be coming up next. Jordana is currently a senior at WSU. Any Cougs in the room? Go Cougs! Go Cougs. Um, 
And she is a biology major currently, and she is going to be studying for a PhD in biomechanics next fall. So without further ado, Jordana. <clears throat> So how many of you have participated in an icebreaker game before? Yeah, I know, they're kind of terrible. I did one where we had to write down three facts about ourselves onto a piece of paper. We mixed them all together and then tried to guess which facts belong to which people. Some were pretty easy to guess, like the only person with a beard who wrote down, I have a beard, but others, not so much. One piece of paper said, one, I like to lift heavy weights. Two, I used to blow up Barbie dolls on the 4th of July. And three, I performed a rap as a talent at a pageant once. No one guessed the right person. These were my facts. And while seemingly unrelated, they represent all of my passions. Lifting weights was what got me interested in exercise science. Rapping was a creative way to share a message. And blowing up Barbie dolls, well, blowing up Barbie dolls was my first exploration into science. I was really curious about what would happen to Barbie if she were strapped to some fireworks. <laughs> this icebreaker wasn't the first time that my appearance didn't match people's initial impressions of me, though. I am a scientist, but I still like to get dressed up and wear pink heels. I think that these stereotypes surrounding science can sometimes be an issue when it comes to retaining and getting people interested in STEM from underrepresented groups. That's why it's so important to have support systems and positive role models of all kinds. I have two supportive parents and an older sister, Jessman, who's currently pursuing her PhD in computer science. I also have two amazing research mentors, Dr. Christopher Conley and Dr. Diane Cook. These are the people that have gotten me to where I am today. But there's one group who's getting me to where I'll be tomorrow, the Washington State Opportunity Scholarship. Spring of my senior year, I stared at my acceptance letter to WSU. The harsh reality set in. There was no way that my family or I could afford for me to go to college. About a month later, I received an email saying that I was a recipient of the Washington State Opportunity Scholarship and it was like I had found the golden ticket. What's unique about this scholarship is that it isn't just for a year or two. It can actually support a year, student for up to five years and increases after they've reached junior status. It doesn't just allow students to go to college, it gives them the financial freedom to stay and actually earn their degrees. This scholarship doesn't just give to their students financially, though. They truly care about each and every one of us. They've been one of the biggest door openers and families that I have had at WSU. My freshman summer, I got to work on a project with my sister. We made digital versions of paper-based assessments that are used to diagnose diseases such as Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. When I told the staff at the Opportunity Scholarship, they told me that I should present my research. I had no idea that undergrads could present at conferences. And now, I've presented my research at six conferences and symposiums, both regionally and nationally. And amazingly enough, at least one Opportunity Scholar staff member has come and supported me at every single one. But if all of that wasn't enough, they've also re reached out to me and got me more research opportunities. Last spring, I was at one of our Opportunity Scholar events, and I was talking with the director of research at St. Luke's Rehabilitation Institute in Spokane. He offered me and another one of the scholars an opportunity to use Fitbits to track physical activity in rehabilitation patients. I'm also able to work in the Exercise Physiology and Performance Lab at WSU because the scholarship allows me to be able to not have to work during the school year. I was recently promoted to research coordinator, so I get to oversee all the different projects going on in the lab. We have a couple that deal with physical activity in pregnant women, and I don't know if you've ever seen a pregnant woman on a treadmill, but it definitely keeps me on my toes, especially when they're about a week away from their due dates. No one's water's broken yet, so fingers crossed. 
I love that I've been able to work on so many amazing opportunities, so it makes me want to get every single undergrad involved in research. So I've made that my mission. I'm an undergraduate research peer mentor, and I founded the Undergraduate Research Club at WSU. I serve as the bridge between students and professors to help get undergrads involved in research. Some might call my involvement in research an obsession, but I prefer the word passionate. It sounds a little bit healthier. Currently, I'm applying to PhD programs in biomechanics to study injury prevention. Imagine if your parents or grandparents could live independently in their homes longer because there is a way to predict falls. Or if athletes could be pulled from games before sustaining career-ending injuries due to overuse. Injuries shatter people's worlds. And if there's a way to better prevent them, I want to find it. What I hope you take away from this talk is that if you want to have an impact on the future innovators of Washington, I can't think of a better way than getting involved with the Washington State Opportunity Scholarship. Whether that be giving money, telling a student you know about the program, or giving your guidance and expertise as an employer or a mentor. Who knows? You could be helping the next Nobel Prize winner, or helping a student get involved in STEM, or at the very least, hopefully save a Barbie or two along the way. Thank you.